This is calm. Are you going to show me a hologram now? A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. Oh. Just checking then. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The it's Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who rules the Empire now? Darth Asina was the only Dark Council member left standing. All others died or disappeared in the chaos. Without opposition, she declared herself Empress of the Sith. And the Republic? <laughs> Suresh remains in power, though she no longer holds the title of Chancellor. The Republic has limits to their ruler's terms, but her replacement is a mere puppet. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. No surprise there. Arkhan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. Hmm. That's true, but I'm more curious as to what happens with the tribute. Does he build more armies? What does Arkhan use the tribute for? Zakul doesn't seem to need much. A question no one else seems to ask or answer, not in any detail. Zakul's empire spans a sizable portion of wild space, but not enough to consume the resources they're acquiring. I've been working to learn the answer myself. Powerful mm. Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings, but there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. Yeah, she sure as long is. As you're here, there's nothing we can't handle. The feeling's mutual. It truly is a relief to see you again. Is that why you went to so much trouble to rescue me? Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... There is something else. I felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. Let's be honest, shall we? I mean, this is Lana who we're talking with. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor, Valkorion, is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then, while I was frozen, I saw things. Dreamed about him. About everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. Well, he's not controlling me. We have a link in him. He cannot die. At least not until I figure out the way to kill him for forever. But he is in the recesses of my mind doing God knows what. I don't think he's trying to control me. Not directly, anyway. He was trying to convince me to work with him. Whatever he's doing, we can be sure that he's always trying to deceive us somehow. I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. Oh, 
She touched me. Salutation. It is oh. a pleasure to see you again so soon, <laughs> Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Thank Keep up you. the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, <laughs> Master. He's so warm and fuzzy. Like a kitten. Only, you know, kittens are neither warm nor fuzzy. Fuzzy. Fuzzy goes too, actually. State of the galaxy. Useful. Let's get back to work then, shall we? I'm glad to see that not all of the game is now completely linear. I was, as you might have heard, or you might have not heard, worried that possibly this whole experience might be valid to be no more than a corridor section leading to another corridor section. You know what I'm saying. I mean, if you're watching this video, odds are you've probably played some games just like that. Ooh, useful. So I don't have to travel all the way up with my slow speeder bike and I can instead use the quick physics defying yeah I honestly have no idea why mine doesn't work the same way you know the it would have been fantastic but nay I did not expect it to so always fine really Ah, a working gate. The treasures of technology. And now to find a bunch of missing... And now to find a bunch of missing parts. Hey there. Did you find something tasty? We definitely found something. Great. I've got a pretty good idea of the parts we'll need. Let's go see what we can find. As long as you're cooking dinner. Sure. Must I once ago go all the way inside? You know, this entire walk, absolutely needless, unnecessary, wasting of time to prolong the chapter. I see how it is now. Charming, really. Thank you, by the way, for filling the game with even more unnecessary busy work. And that, by the way, is why I rarely play MMORPGs anymore. The simple reason that very few of them respect your time. And Star Wars The Old Republic right now doesn't at one point last year there was this giant experience bonus which was great for a few reasons first because you could play the entirety of the game without having to you know do useless side quests which really had a repetitive story and the quests really what you needed to do was bring like 10 bear asses to someone somewhere in an imperial or republic base which admittedly not fantastic this pretty much the same thing because easily we could have taken both quests without having the need to 
dilly dally with good old Cot Vortina here. And while I do appreciate his company in the matter, which actually no I don't, really quite unnecessary. Let's see then. We must go further into the jungle, pardon the swamps, to finish this really busy work. Not that I mind, of course. No, no, no. Waste all my time. It's not like I'm a busy guy. But hey, at least the FPS stopped dropping, right? He said, as the FPS dropped with, like, 10 frames. Oh, Bioware, Bioware, Bioware. Time what to take you're a doing worries me sometimes. It keeps me up at night. No what else keeps me up at night? My other... Ah, oh, Bioware, Bioware, Bioware. Your busy work and MMO you strategy. Are. It keeps me up at night. No one else keeps me up at night. That's a good question. If you want to learn the answer to that, you can take a Let's look at my other series, Darkest Dungeon, and you will find out just what horrors more where that came from keep me from taking naps and when i say horrors i mean darkly animated awesome things that make people go insane anyway you up took one out i can't help but remember more the droid that saying that well there only were how many? Three Predators and a single Sky Trooper Scout? I have killed five Sky Trooper... Scouts... Time to take a stand. In... Less than two minutes? Doesn't seem like a single Sky Trooper to me. Either that, or HK-55 really isn't too good at his job as a sentry. Which admittedly would need some work. But hey, we've got another big predator to defeat. For whatever reason. Remember what I cover. said? Story, cinematic, section, elite monster. Repeat and sometimes change the corridor's setting and that's the game which I suppose if I was looking at it from a more philosophical standpoint would be a way to describe all role-playing games but in most of them combat is a lot more strategic and a, less, a lot less repetitive and dull and easy. Uh, I'm going to give you a ring, dude. Sorry. It's destiny. I ditch all these parts before we crash. We find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Well? Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. Hmm. Hey, I'm... Honestly, I think it's the Emperor doing something behind the lines, behind the I didn't scene. come out here to philosophize. I just want to get off this planet. The sooner the better. Can't disagree with that too much. Lana's told me about all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So... I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. Lana might have told you no I was the captain of a warship really? in Harkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, 
but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Sakul is supposed to operate. Hmm. Thank you for being honest with me. You and your crew made the right choice. Glad you think so. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. I know things were hairy back there, but a lot of innocent people died. A lot. That's not what I signed up for. I'm in this to save Zakul from Arkin, not to tear it down with him. I need to know <clears throat> that you're on board with that too. No. I'm not. I'm in this to win. No matter what the cost. And sooner or later we're going to have a problem. Come on. Let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. I honestly have no problem killing you right here, right now. Request. Not Republican. Please rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Plastic droid. Oh boy. What's he up to now? So, he wasn't a Republican after all. Sorry about that. My mistake. Still. He is awful. I don't like him. Why? Well, that's a very good question. I, don't, I just don't like Goody Two Shoes too much. And he, he is that... Uh, let's just call him an asshole and be done with it, shall we? I know people like him. I don't like them, but not too much at all. What's this? Interesting. Save us! What the hell is going on here? What did you do to them? Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of Sky Troopers. They've requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkhan's war. We've already lost two of our friends, please. Is there anything you can do for us? I can't be bothered with civilians. <sighs> Plus, chances are they will only Get in the crossfire. So, better to be on their own. We have more important things to do. Deal with your own problems. I have a bit of food on me. Here. I wish we could do more. Something else, Master? Well, I'm not Nothing going to else, kill HK. him. Head back to the gravestone. That would be entirely pointless. Just for the sake of chaos? No, thank you. I may be a Sith Lord, but I have little taste for blood, especially the blood of the innocents. Especially the blood of exiles who will die by themselves, soon enough.
<clears throat> ah, time to talk with HK for fifty five again. Excellent. You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then. Right then. Don't trust the pilot. The pilot's look a few moments ago said, I will kill you. But at least I won't extend my hand if you need it. I like the funky music. Kind of random though. LOL. Working as well as you don't, is it? HK fifty five just cleaning his gun and gunning down anything that moves. <laughs> he disintegrated that. Awesome. <laughs> oh. He didn't get it again, did he? You know... I'm kind of getting worried now. If he can't shoot... Finally! Oh god. At least now he's not going to miss. I hope. <laughs> the insane droid. Okay. That scene came out of nowhere, but it was amazing. Moments like this, they make it all worthwhile. Eureka! <laughs> <laughs> 